Once we have a map, we often want to create a document, a PDF, or a printed file from this map. And so we'll show you how to do that here. Now we first want to open up a map layout manager and we create a new map. It asks us for a name for this layout and I'll just call this test one. And we say OK and then it opens a new window and I'll resize the window here so you can see it roughly. And you'll notice there's a couple of main panes here. There's a properties pane here on the right and the layout pane on the left. And so if I back up just a little bit, you can see the layout. Now, if I want to change the size of this, I can right click on it and then click on page properties, left click, and I could change the size here. I'm fine with this landscape map, but I could change to portrait again from the pick lists or enter a width and height. These I think are in millimeters. So that's the, I could change to inch equivalents also. So once I have the size of the sheet I want, I start adding elements. And the first element we typically add here is a map element. So I'll click here. I only have one map active. And so if I make a drag box, it automatically puts that one in. So these are the roads and the lakes that we created. And then I can add additional elements. So I got a name. So here I'll have a text label that I'll add. And most of the items that I add are like this. I have properties here on the right I can change. So for example, I could add a title here, my first map. And then on the side, I can scroll up and down to change appearances. So here I can change the font, maybe make it a little bit bigger so we can actually see it. Um, and I could change the font type or margin or other things about it. So um, for now, I'm just going to do that. Um, and here I have, uh, maybe it's a little small, but what the heck, this is just an example. After I've added then the title, I could go ahead and add a a legend here again so I left click on this legend tool so that's active and then I'll draw a box where I want to place the le legend and again a different set of properties will show up so I could change the names here what's going to show up so I could double click then on the legend name and call it Hugo Roads because that's the area this is from I can also then go down and change the fonts. For example, I could change the size of the item font. It opens another window right now. They're 12. I could make them 18 or something like that. You see it makes the font bigger here. Again, I can change colors and those sorts of things. So again, here the item values are on the right. Same thing if I want to put a scale bar. So I click the scale bar tool here icon to make it active and I can then drag and create a scale bar. This is kind of short. I would actually want to do it better than that. And the same thing. I have new tools that show up here on the right and uh, new uh, item properties. And so I could change it from item miles to kilometers and I can change the number of segments on the right or the left. So uh, you can see here that the values change. I could change the height if I want to make it taller and thicker. I could also change the font size, various places. So I go ahead and um, work here to get the values just as I would like um, to get the items I'd like. Now one that's a little bit tricky is the north arrow. We almost always want a north arrow and we add that in a funny way. We add it as an item. I'm sorry, as an image. So if I left click here on this image box and then draw a box and I get this empty box as what image. And so I look here then in the search directories and if I click in the search directories automatically it comes to a standard set of images and in those I can pick among these north arrows. So I could click on one or another and you see I get different values, different north arrows that show up. Um, so I select one and I can go ahead then and also and change its properties down below. So I could change the fill color if I wanted let's say to black or to purple or to something else to add my north arrow. So I create my map typically with these elements, a main map pane, a title and some descriptive information, a legend and north arrow, and then a scale bar. I then might want to export it. So up here in the top, I can export it as a PDF. If I click on that, it asks me for a PDF name and location. 
Um, and that way I can then save it to a PDF or I can save my project and this will also then save this layout or I could print it if I have a printer attached.